Hello, class of 2020, and welcome family, friends, relatives, administrators, teachers, counselors, our interim superintendent, Dr. Zenona Thomas, the executive cabinet members, and members of the Clark County Board of Education. I am so excited to help celebrate this time with you. I know it is not the celebration you expected, but you've worked so hard and earned your diplomas, so let's celebrate. We are about to honor each graduate virtually on this day, and we hope to repeat this ceremony in a live fashion in the near future. High school graduation is a special occasion. It's the day you've been working towards since you were four years old. Think about that. This is a degree that takes longer than any other you might earn in a post-secondary institution. But it is also a bittersweet moment and that you're moving on. For some of you, that means to another city or another state. You will likely not be surrounded by your current group of friends. You will, however, make new friends and learn new things and emerge a better, stronger person. Take advantage of all that is offered to you. Explore all the options you wish to explore. Change your minds as often as you need to because you are entering into a phase that will determine your future path. It may take turns and it may offer detours, but stay the course. You are worth it. I'm going to miss all of you. Thanks. Hey y'all, my name is Lisa Yeomans and I'm honored to address you as the salutatorian of the best class, the one and only class of 2020. I've learned a good deal over my last four years and today I'd like to talk about a phrase that I think sums up a lot of it. Challenges are opportunities in disguise. Looking back over my high school experience, this has held true. I came to Central from a very different middle school than anyone else. I was quiet, fairly awkward, and definitely nerdy. I've grown a lot in high school and become a more knowledgeable, confident, and athletic version of myself, although I'm still pretty nerdy. I believe that an important factor in my growth throughout high school has been faith. I don't only mean religious faith, but faith in my own ability. One of the most important things that I've learned through high school academics, athletics, and fine arts is to have faith that if I work hard and do my part, results will come even if they're not immediate or exactly what I was expecting. It's not instant gratification. There are no shortcuts. That's what I love about sports. What you put in, that's exactly what you get out, even if there is some delay in results. The other important thing that I've discovered is love. I found that if I love the people around me, I can make true friends. Like James Taylor says, shower the people you love with love. This applies to the things I do as well. If I love the things I do, and I do them because I love them and not because they are obligations, success comes much more naturally. And success comes in different forms. Awards and medals are the reward for some. Strong connections with teammates are more valuable to me. Gaining the respect, trust, and love of others is a success to me. You get what you give, and if you give without considering what might be measured back to you, there's happiness. It's beautiful just to do things because you love them and give just for the sake of giving. I don't want to preach. I want to share what I've learned. Faith and love. They may sound cliche, but they are invaluable in practice and I wouldn't have accomplished the things I have without them. I know that many of us have worked hard for things without a guarantee of success, whether it was to improve athletically or musically, or if it was to be accepted to a dream school. We all have faced and will face obstacles that require us to believe in ourselves to overcome. It can be challenging to believe in your hard work when there are no immediate results. It can be challenging to love people and things actively in the face of the daily grind. But I wouldn't miss the opportunities that faith and love have provided me for anything. We must move into the chapters of our lives with purpose and goals. Each of us is capable and I believe in the potential we all have. The people you see on a podium or earning awards, they are no better than you, not in the least. All of y'all are definitely smarter than me in some kind of way, probably more than one. I don't hold all human experience, just mine. And you are the only one who holds yours. What will you do with it? We have all grown since we've been at Clark Central. And I hope we have all grown to be more open-minded from our diverse, unique school. Each of us has contributed to the diversity and charisma here at Central. 
Every personality adds more character to our class. We are not like any other class. And that's not just because of COVID, which is probably what everyone will remember us by. Because of this pandemic, we are unfortunately missing out on traditional stepping stones between high school and the world beyond. But I think we are ready to leap over those stones and right into our futures. We're on the verge of something bigger than high school. We've all made the commitment to graduate, and now we have many more decisions and commitments to make. Not everything is up to you, but a lot of it is. Once we come out of this pandemic, life is awaiting. While we're in this pandemic, life is still awaiting, just a smaller piece of it. Go take it, go make what you can out of it. You never know unless you try, and challenges are opportunities in disguise. Don't miss your opportunity just because it looks like a mountain. I want to include the customary list of people that I am thankful to for helping me get to where I am. I add this list gladly and gratefully because there is no way I would have had the high school career I had without these people and more. To my family, direct and extended, for their unwavering support and love. To my little sisters for looking up to me even when I'm down on myself. To my mom for always pushing me, challenging me, and making my involvement in clubs, sports, and everything else possible. To my dad for being my camping and concert buddy and always being happy to see me. To my former swim coach, Martin, for helping me become the athlete I am and teaching me the meaning and relevance of hard work. To Mr. Altman for supporting my growth through reading and being a teacher who cares. To Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Swain, Ms. Julian, Mr. Mack, and all the other passionate teachers at this school for improving our community. To my friends and teammates for making my classes and practices a million times more fun. There's too many of you to list. And to Jesus Christ for more than I could possibly sum up here. Congratulations to all the graduates. I hope that my experience with faith and love rings true with some of you and that we will all find our opportunities even if they are disguised as challenges. Class of 2020 is still the best. Thank you. Hello and congratulations to my fellow graduates. This certainly is not how I imagined delivering this speech to all of you. I'd imagined looking out into a sea of faces in Stegman Coliseum, all of you wearing caps and gowns, and having family members screaming our names and setting off air horns in the audience. But things change. I'm now in an empty, eerily quiet Mel auditorium looking into a video camera, and you all are probably on your couches at home watching this on a computer screen. I hope you all are healthy and safe, surrounded by your families at home, and celebrating what is an incredible accomplishment. After 13 years of hard work, you have earned your high school diploma. I don't think anyone could have guessed that this would be how our senior year would end. Certainly, many of us were looking forward to prom, decision day, the senior picnic, and probably skipping the last week of school. Although it's disappointing that we didn't get to make those end of senior year memories, this extra time at home has given me space to reflect on the past four years of high school and value my other memories even more. I don't think we can ever forget the What's New Pussycat song playing over the intercom for an hour during our sophomore year, cheering on the glads at Cedar versus Central games, or eating Uncrustables every single day in the cafeteria. We'll also never forget the teachers, counselors, administrators, and staff who helped us and guided us in so many ways. If we were in Stegman Coliseum, we could give them a round of applause to thank them. Since we can't do that, I'd like to suggest that each of you think about one adult at Central who has gone above and beyond and send them an email or a note to let them know how much they mean to you. The separation of this pandemic has been hard on all of us. So taking the time to reach out and connect can mean so much. Now we've all made so many memories in our four years at Clark Central and this unpredictable end of senior year will be just another one of those unique high school experiences. When we're finally able to get together and celebrate, we'll be able to bond over this collective experience. We'll be closer as a class because of our shared resilience. We're heading out into the world at a time that is unpredictable and maybe a little bit scary. 
but I believe that our time at CCHS has prepared us for whatever comes next. We can be confident that if we can walk around with 100 pound book bags on our backs for four years, if we can beat Buford on the football field, and if we can work hard and finish high school during a pandemic, we're ready for whatever is yet to come. I hope your past four years at Clark Central have been amazing, and I hope the best years of your life are still to come. Whether you're headed to college, technical school, the military, or the workforce, may you keep dreaming, keep learning, and keep growing. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello, everyone. It's an honor to be here with you, or six metaphorical feet away from you, today. I know that whatever your expectations for this graduation might have been, these aren't exactly ideal circumstances. Still, I hope you're finding some way to celebrate this occasion in a meaningful way. By the time you'll hear this, y'all will probably have heard President Obama's national commencement speech. I'm not gonna try to compete with that. Though an honor, it's challenging enough to be asked to speak for y'all. Four years is too short a time to be among such excellent and admirable classmates. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. How could I, or anyone, do the class of 2020 justice, even in normal times? There are so many of us, all different. We've all come from different places and backgrounds, and we've, thanks to that, we've brought a wealth of perspective to Clark Central. Some might take this graduation for granted, but for others, it's a major life achievement. Yet we're all leaving here more knowledgeable, not just thanks to our teachers, but thanks to each other, and we'll bring this with us on our diverging paths. Some of us are joining the military, some of us are entering or continuing in the workforce. Some are going to college, whether here in Georgia, in other places in the country, or abroad. In an ordinary year, this would be the moment where our paths diverge. We'd all be in the same room, celebrating together. We'd have a chance to say goodbye to one another in person. In an ordinary year, the hi highlight of the graduation speeches would be the cheesy, hindsight is 2020 jokes. But this isn't an ordinary year. In some ways, we've already split up. Yet despite all our differences, despite our separation from one another, we're all survivors, and this binds us together. We survived hurricanes, recessions, and Georgia football defeats. We survived the Cubs winning the World Series in November of 2016. Some of us survived 9-11. We've all survived the world it created. We survived Infinity War. We survived What's New Pussycat. And then we survived it again, and again, and again. We survived online classes. We survived missing all the usual senior tra traditions. We survived EOCs, AP tests, and finals. We're surviving right now. We're surviving the pandemic, the shutdowns, the isolation, and whatever all else the world is throwing at us. And you know what? We'll continue to survive. We'll survive COVID-19, and we will survive whatever comes next. We're gonna be the toughest, most resilient generation this side of the Great Depression. But we aren't just survivors. Surviving is one thing. Believing that the world will actually get better, even when it's taking a turn for the worse, and then going and actually making it better is another. But I do believe every single one of us will improve our world somehow, each in our own way. Some of us will do it in big, visible ways. We all will in small ways in our own communities. We don't know how, what we'll do, or when, but we can be sure it'll happen. None of this, of course, could happen if we didn't begin somewhere. We began here, and this community is a part of our beginning, whether we lived in Athens our whole life or just moved here this year. We've had people around us supporting us in ways both invisible and visible to get us here. Now, I'm not sure if thanking these people can actually repay them, but I do know that I'm supposed to thank some folks in this speech, and they do deserve it. So thank you to all the teachers, st uh, coaches, 
faculty, and staff at Clark Central, and at all the elementary and middle schools we've come through to get here. Thank you especially to all the teachers who are leaving Central for all the work you've done in your time here. Thank you to all the friends and relations who have provided help and support for any of us graduates. Thank you also to all the students and friends and family who are still working in grocery stores, hospitals, and public or crowded spaces despite the threat of the coronavirus. But most of all, thank you to all of the 352 students in the Clark Central High School class of 2020. We couldn't have got here to where we are today without each other. We're going to face historically uncertain times in the coming months and years. It's a scary world to graduate into. We're passing from a childhood past to a new future as adults without knowing what that future will look like. That scares me. Probably scares you too. It's not a world any of us would have chosen. But we didn't get to choose it. All we have to do, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. There are other forces at work in this world besides the will of evil. One of them is us. This is why I remain convinced that the future will be beautiful and amazing and awesome despite all that's going wrong around us because it'll be us beautiful and amazing and awesome people that define it. Thank you very much. Good evening. It is with immense pleasure and the highest honor to stand before you this evening, being the principal of this flagship and great institution for the class of 2020 graduation, where we are central. To our parents and guardians, thank you for your unwavering support. You have worked persistently and patiently over the past 13 years to ensure that your child is here tonight. It may not have always been easy to keep them motivated and on task, but guess what? With your love, encouragement, and guidance, they are here. To our community stakeholders that are joining us tonight, thank you for your support and believing in our public schools. Whether you helped our students by serving as mentors, providing financial support, being a guest speaker in a classroom, or any other endeavor, we appreciate all of you who have offered support of our students and our school. To our faculty and staff of Clark Central High School, thank you for your passion, commitment, and energy in facilitating 352 glass into grass this evening. The work that you do day in and day out is invaluable, unmatched, and greatly appreciated. We will present to you our candidates for graduation who have earned over $5 million in scholarships, so take a moment in your respective homes to applaud and reflect on the great work of our parents, families, community members, faculty, and staff. It takes a village and you are the village. Now to the esteemed class of 2020. Let it be known that you are undoubtedly the most memorable class of gladiators to walk the halls of Clark Central High School. As members of the class of 2020, wear that badge of honor with pride and dignity. You came, you endured, you conquered. The strength and maturity you have shown over the past few weeks is your legacy and is an example for all of us. According to Samuel Ullman, maturity is the ability to think, speak, and act your feelings within the bounds of dignity. The measure of your maturity is how spiritual you become during the midst of your frustrations. As we all know quite well, in life, there will be different challenges, phases, and changes. But whatever you face, be responsible and be encouraged. As a forever gladiator, strive to be part of the solution during the tough times and a leader in any endeavor you pursue. Class of 2020, you are graduating in unprecedented times, but use it as motivation for success. According to Yvonne Pierre, use what you've been through as fuel, believe in yourself, and be unstoppable. Graduation is not the end, but ultimately the beginning. I challenge each of you to always remember two very important phrases. First, as you start your day, with every breath you take, with every step you take, and with every decision you will make, always remember glass or grass. Secondly, always end your day 
in the words of Mrs. Linda Glenn by telling someone you love them. Carry this message in your hearts and through all your actions. As I close, I would like to read a special proclamation solo for you, the class of 2020. This proclamation has been signed by the mayor of Athens, Clark County, Mr. Kelly Gertz, and it reads, Clark Central High School, Glass or Grass Day. Whereas it is the distinct honor and pleasure of the unified government of Athens Clark County to recognize the Clark Central High School class of 2020 by declaring May 22nd, 2020 as Clark Central High School Glass or Grass Day. And whereas this day is the culmination of all hard work and 13 years of perseverance, it is the day when graduates say, I've done it. It is a milestone in your life. It is also a day when you celebrate success. And whereas it is the most important date in your academic careers thus far, as it is a time to thank your parents, your guardians, your teachers, mentors, and all who have supported and guided you. And whereas the 352 students of this class has over $5 million in scholarships, combined with 71% applying to college, 55% planning to enroll at a technical two or four year institution, 11% will enter the professional workforce, and seven students will be enlisting in a branch of the United States military. And whereas glass are grads, graduates, leaders, achievers, decision makers, striving for success. And whereas you are not only graduating from high school, but moving closer into adulthood where you will reap the fruits of your efforts and hard work. Happy graduation, and as always, go GLADS. Now, therefore, I, Kelly Gertz, Mayor of the Unified Government of athens Clark County, do hereby declare this day, May 22nd, 2020, as Clark Central High School GLADS or GRASS Day, to commend all those affiliated with the school for helping prepare students to succeed, and to honor the school's historic and significant renovation. Signed by our very own Mayor Gertz. Class of 2020, we love you and we salute you. By the authority vested in me as principal of Clark Central High School, I do hereby certify that the students present have completed their prescribed requirements set forth by the State Board of Education and the Clark County Board of Education. Dr. Thomas, I respectfully request that their diplomas be released for distribution and all rights granted thereto. Thank you, Dr. Huff. By the authority vested in me as interim superintendent by the state of Georgia and the Clark County Board of Education, I declare the Clark Central High School class of 2020 as graduated and entitled to receive their diplomas. Class of 2020, I know I am the only thing standing between you and hearing your names called for your diplomas, so I will not prolong the evening. However, I want you to know how excited we all are for you regarding your accomplishments. You all have had to encounter obstacles that no one could have imagined, but you are here today as graduates of Clark County Schools. We know that 2020 is often referred to as perfect vision, but you also hear the saying, hindsight is 2020. So when you look back on these experiences, instead of looking back with frustration and disappointment, look back on what you gained, how you're better, how you're stronger, and remember how this experience is preparing you to be better for the next phase of your life. We are very proud of you, we wish you the best, and we celebrate with you your graduation. Congratulations. Beatrice Atchison. William M. Adams.
Achimike Echizona Adogu. Jillian Felita Akers. Ola Shubomi D. Akindibe. Zoomer Alam. Andres Alboron Jr. Jalisa Lenise Alexander. Melanie Alfonso Hansley. Sherlyn Sulema Alvarez Lopez. Demonte T. Appleby. Luis Caleb Archia Rodriguez. Talia Rakita Artister. Aliyah Arnold. Cameron Brianna Arnold. Carla Yvette Ariaga Sotomayor. Christopher Allen Averett. Catherine Bahena Jimenez. Sonora Nache Baldwin. Don King Bannister Jr. Maximo Fidel Bardner. Taniqua Cheyenne Yvette Barnes. Kara Amaya Barnett. O'Brien Barnett. Sydney O. Barnett. Carter David Bass. Noe Bautista. Benjamin M. Benson. Adriana Taraya Barry Morse. Verdasia Nigloria Phillips. Jalen Bishop. Yurio Blanco Sanchez.
Anna K. Blum. Serenity Jolene Brewster. Jason Rizzo. Antonio Raquan Brown. Janaya Liasia Brown. Takaya Ishanti Brown. Lillian Amber Bruce Ritchie. Christian Josiah Bryan. Josiah Shantiana Burgess. Ardasia Larnice Butler. Alexander Ross Bird. Jasani Makai Bird. Xavier Zaquan Bird. Theron Elliott Camp. Asa Nolan Campbell. Naya Ann Carlson. Tyjada Janaya Carson. Sophia Castaneda. Sarah Mackenzie Lenosi Caldo. Cynthia Chamorro. Carter J. Chavis. Kevin Chin. Patrick Childs. Deamber Nikika Clark. Noah Allen Clark. Tanquarius M. Pofer. Zarian Lejavin Carlos Colbert. John Joseph Conaway. Oliver Conley Mullis. Michaela Nicole Cook.
John Francis Cooney IV. Ashanti Zayana Cooper. Devin Corley. Emily Noaili Cornejo. Jeremiah Wright Cornish. Emma Carter Crane. Cameron Alice Daniel. Alexis LaQuaria Makaya David. Kai Imani De Cruz. William Braden De La Mater. Marjorie Elizabeth De Maria. James Derrickson. Samantha Diaz. Jesse Parker Andrew Dillard. Tayshawn Morris Dowdy. Josephine Elliott. Atiana Ellison. Marikas Estridge. Thomas Evans. Kimberly Figueroa. Jack Fisher. Rainer Blurry. Kendarius Ford. Dramiria Fortson. Dramirian Fortson. Jashanti Foster. Nadia Fox. Maria de Carmen Franco Cruz. Myron Franklin. Miata Freeman.
Colin Free. Gwendolyn Gad. Kanasia Gaynor. Chandler Gant. Amy Gona. Carlos Garcia. Eric Garcia. Tamara Garcia Martinez. Leslie Garcia Guadarrama. Jalen Gary. Jorge Gayton. Lucy Gibson. Elena Gilbertson Hall. Emily Gillespie. Michaela Glover. Alfonso Gonzalez. Kevin Gresham. Clarence Greer. Mena Gutierrez. Guadalupe Gutierrez. Colton Hanna. DeMarco Hardy. Arion Harry. Sequoia Harry. Jasmine Hurd. Jordan Hurst. Daviel Hernandez. Jennifer Hernandez. Luis Hernandez. Ferrari.
Eduardo Hernandez Ariaga. Jennifer Hernandez Martinez. Yesenia Hernandez Uriostecki. Maeli Herrera Sandoval. William Heron. Jeremiah Hill. Jonathan Hill. Jordan Hill. Tavion Holman. Anaya Howard. Thaw Two. Christine Human. David Watto. Adriana Hubbard. Kayanis Hull. Jitsiri Hutchins. Naomi Ibanez. Lolita I. Robert Izakovich. Henry Ivy. Cassandra Jackson. Michael Jackson Costin. Tony Jackson. Trinity James. Kent Jeffries. Alisa Jewel. Akiton Johnson. Christopher Johnson. Raekwon Johnson. Mackenzie Jolly.
Jocelyn Jones. Samuel Jones. Alina Joseph. Anna Julian. Jovita Julian. Bianca Costella Kelly. Jamaris Kelly. Trayvon Kennerson. Victoria Marie Knowlton. Everett Bame Krause. John Sumner Crone. Justin Ryan Lane. Brian Alexander Leahy. Simon Level. Travante Dequez Lee. Omar Tequez Lester. Desmond Ryan Lewis. Pacey Roger Lewis. Joshua Coyle Limeberger. Asiana Elysia Lott. Shamar Lowe. Nick Maddox. Prana Maldonado Collins. Benny Manakulatil. Brianna Lynn Martin. Brian Martinez. Crystal Martinez. Stephanie Martinez. Jakaya Ashanti Mathis. Nicholas Sterling 
Malden. Rosemary Mayorga. Shawkey Mays. Rachel Marie McAllister. Duran Christian James McCarty. Matthew Meeks. Oscar Mejia. Alejandra Mendoza Garcia. Ashley Mendoza. Emerson Aubrey Meyer. Virginia Michaud. Antoinette Morales Madueño. Daniela Morales Madueño. Amber Simone Morris. Zaria LaPrecious Morris. Jordan Mosley. Deasia Ariane Muckle. Ivan Yvette Munoz Garcia. Litsi Munoz Rico. Matthew Mwangi Musoka. Gerardo Navarro. Kimberly Navarro. Trent Lanier Nesbitt. Josh Tomas Newson. Olivia Ingu. Andrew Wynn. Martin Wynn. Uche Alexander Onanqua. Jose Corduna. Katia Giovanna Palomino.
Joanna Elizabeth Pantoja Alvarez. Emily Deasia Parks. Ricky Parks. Henry Emmanuel Patavina. Rihanna Pearson. Sarahi Estrella Panarin Madrano. Casey Harper Penley. Chandler Patricia Penley. Shay Fiona Peters. Quinn O'Leary Phillips. Kiasia Pilcher. Samuel Plates. Eric Malik Pollard. Lauren Pollock. Zakiria Nadeja Powers. Adriana Jalisa Price. Cullen Harrison Penn. Zachary Elijah Quick. Erica Denise Rains. Saul Ramos. E.J. Reed. Aiden Gunn Reitner. Jesse Andrea Reed. Jessica Yaliset Reyes. Guillermo Reynoso. Jayshon Monte Richards. Melissa M. Richardson. Takoya Chanel Richardson. Alex Rico.
Morgan Elizabeth Riley. Elasia Tiana Bridge. Cadence Elizabeth Robertson. Alexander Farouk Howard Robinson. Alexis Elise Robinson. Oscar Antonio Robles. Kiera Alejandra Robles Ventura. Juan Tyrell Johnson Rodriguez. Araceli Rojas. Angel Omar Rosa. Evan Richard Roche. Sierra Chanel Rucker. Emmanuel Sanchez. Jose Sanchez. Catherine Elizabeth Sartain. Caroline Elizabeth Sartor. Kayo Say. Eden Rosalind Tarlow Sears. Avery Elizabeth Setsy. Saren Bajika Sese. Eddie Sesmus Mondragon. Kelson Liam Shainer. Jackson Vaughn Shelton. David Silva. Georgia Blue Simmons. Robert Witherspoon Simmons. James. Edward Sims the third Jaquez Antonio Smith Jakira Zenobia Smith
Joshua Jawan Smith, Kalia Tariana Smith, McShayla Frequisha Smith, Shekinah Latoria Smith, Tayon Michelle Smith, Ansley Michelle Solis, Pimena Somieta. Jemiah Zakiah Bennett Sorrells, Jordan Alexis Sorrells, Shandia Sierra Kane Stafford. Tamaya Shanice Starks, Cameron Trayvon Stokes, Shelly Victoria Mary Store. Angel Suarez Pampa, James Sachava Santa, Hunter Dane Swafford. Imani Elaine Sykes, Rosario Marion Sykes, Courtney Nicole Teasley. Arabian Shatis Thomas, Sojourney Mahogany Thomas, Tajane Ayana Marie Thomas. Lamine Torre, Eric Ezekiel Tovar, Sakura Shanti Toler. Emmanuel Town, Catherine Grace Upchurch, Bianca Crystal Ariostegi. Brandon Vargas,
Emily Michelle Vargas. Dejana Monique Burnham. Pamela Velasquez. Everett Felder Vereen. Diego Villafana Escobar. Esperanza Alia Walker. Angelo Antonio Walton. Isaac Lennon Ward. Amir Dejon Warren. Chance Allen Warren Jr. Lanaya Michelle Washington. Harold Trey Waters III. Kiela Shemaya Watkins. Wilnesha Kiera Jershon Watkins. Noah Dylan Weideman. Dalen Janine Catherine White. Brian Daniel Whitehead. Manaya Simone Wilkins Houston. Anna Elizabeth Williams. Rakira Antoinisha Williams. Tanaya Dimonique Williams. Thailand Omarion Willingham. Samuel Allen Wilson IV. Trinity Ann Woody. Alexis Maciona Nicole Wright. Alexandria Rain Yarbrough. Lucy Jocelyn Yeomans. Congratulations to you, the Clark Central Class of 2020. Tonight you are proof that glass are grass. The Gladiator Nation celebrates this great accomplishment with you. We look forward to hearing about where your future journey will take you. 
On behalf of the Clark Central faculty and staff, I would like to thank all of our parents, grandparents, guardians, family and friends for your support and celebration with us tonight. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you and please continue to be safe.